Thank you everybody for being here. Um, thank you for being part of the lab. Do you want to just kind of go down the road and tell us your name and um, why you joined the lab? Re repeat on me of what you just did. Oh, um, I'm Emily and I joined the lab because it was an experience and it was different than musical theater and it taught me a lot about different ways of film. Cool. So my name is Gabriella. Um, I reached out to Nina because um, I was looking for some film experience um, and she introduced me to this group for that. Teresa, my name is Teresa. Um, I interned with Nina during the fall and she invited me to join the production lab and uh, it's a whole new experience for me. I'm gaining experiences as I go. And you're currently a film student at uh, LaGuardia Community College. And um, you just graduated being a film student at the College of St. St. Rose and you just graduated Kingsborough Community College where you were a musical theater teacher. Mm -hmm. um, my name is Ivanta and I joined the media production lab because I wanted to grow my skills as a filmmaker. My name is Nehemiah and originally I joined because my teacher was really enthusiastic about me helping on this opportunity. And he was absolutely right because this was a really, this is a really fun and educational opportunity. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, everybody. Um, so if you kind of starting and going back, what are your favorite parts of the lab or something? Or something you learned that you didn't already know? Well, my favorite part of the lab was the illumination, what's it called? Program. Yeah, program. Training. Because James Murphy and Matt are my idols, and I want to be more like Batman. I don't know, they're just really good instructors, and I had, I knew nothing, like, I only knew the basics of lighting from, like, class and stuff, so it was nice to know, like, go deeper into that field of work. Like, it was just like a, like, it was, it was like a lot of hours, right? It was yeah. a lot of, yeah. But, like, so, so, so you know, the, um, Calvin and MBS group partnered with us. So MBS group just recently acquired Calvin Studios. They they own a number of film studios around the world. Um, and one of the things they do at the various studios is kind of education and outreach. So I've been trying to get Calvin to do a training program with us with their like lighting people because um, you know all of the sets have um, they have to use Calvin lighting people. Like they bring in producers, they bring in their own directors, like every production brings in their own staff, but the uh, lighting people are consistent always. So I really want to get the kids involved with them because A, it's a steady job, <laughs> and B, they're here, and they know they've been here for years. So we finally got that to happen this year, uh, and we're going to be doing it more. But it, they gave us basically a, a full weekend intensive on lighting and gaffing and grip work. and. Um, it was stuff I hadn't, some stuff I hadn't even known before, and, and I'd been in production for years, so it was it was wonderful. But the the, the guys who ran it were like a, a key grip and a and a gaffer who basically showed us what they do on sets. Yeah, and I was gonna say even though it was like like eight hours each, right? it, was it was eight, eight, eight hours a day, it Saturday and Sunday. It didn't feel that long, and I had a pretty good time. Yes. Same question, like, I guess your favorite part, what did you learn that you didn't already know? Um, my favorite part was probably the same. Um, Matt and Murphy are the best teachers ever, and I want to... I'm not taking that first one. <laughs> <laughs> Excluding Nina. Um, <laughs> um, um, I really want to be um, taught by them again. Um, and not even like the grip and gaffing work that we, that they taught just like um, advice in the film industry is really um, good. <laughs> what, what, what the, there was like a 20 minute lecture on not smelling bad. Yeah. yeah. That was just, <laughs> I, was like, I was like, okay, this is getting a little real. But uh, what did you all think of that? That was funny. I thought that was pretty humorous. I, I, I didn't know before, so I'm glad they told me. So now you will stop smelling? Yeah. They thought. Teresa. So. <laughs> <laughs> The color, um, the Bluetooth thing, the color thing was interesting because I never knew that that's coming into the industry. Like they use that instead of like the, what is it? Um, 
what is it called, the <laughs> paper gels that they put on the white part. So that was something interesting, learning, and that it's very expensive and if you <laughs> buy it. Yeah. So they, they, they showed us how the old RE lights work, but with the gels, we made gels and we used flags and all that, but then they had sky panels, which run about you know eight to 15,000 a piece, and they kind of showed us how they, they can mimic a lot of what the gels would all, all otherwise do. That was always. And then now they have the, the same technology in tubes that are um, why they're, they're connected to like Bluetooth, so we, you can program them to like change and that, that was a lot. That was a very interesting part of it. Yeah. Um, I enjoy Ruth's makeup group, holding her favorite thing, meeting her, and like understanding how her job works and what she does. And then um, also the information training, too, like being able to play with the lights from my favorite, like when we went over like the apertures and how to. Um, basically make it look like you're in a party or make it look like the cops are passing by. Like those yes. like just playing with those different lights. That's definitely like one of my favorite parts of the training. Yeah. I like um, also make the booth. I also like uh, the whole like um, setting up the lights and doing hands on because uh, what those guys were saying was actually true and it was like really hard because you see like people in the movies and all you think is like I want to be like the celebrity wearing like the cool outfit on the red carpet but they don't ever like give the awards out to the people behind the scenes carrying those yes. like um, line stands on like your shoulder and like doing all those hours those are where the awards should go to not like the current day the Kardashians, <laughs> yes, especially not the Kardashians. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, so, what are you guys currently working on, and like, what are you hoping to do in the near future? Um, hopefully, I can get into like something that has to do with uh, musical theater or theater in general. But uh, other than that, just like looking for like a job or just like chilling and just chilling. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I'm working on writing some scripts right now, so I plan to be the pilot of the television script I'm working on. Try to get some more inspiration to keep writing, and I'm trying to gain that confidence to go out and actually just like film stuff and like find people to film things with. So yeah, finding a film community. I'm also glad I was able to find people. So this connected me with people too. Now I can like say, Hey guys, you want to go? We could film together. <laughs> and you guys should definitely stay if you're available for the next session because that, that's a whole another group of youth who, who submitted their films to the festival and got selected. And they're going to, you know, so that, that just expands your community. Yeah. And that's key. That, that's it. I mean, I think that's the critical thing is finding a group of people who are going to do things with you, especially in film that's so important. Teresa? Um, um, I'm graduating um, soon. Weeks. Oh wow! Well. Congratulations! Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, I'm proud of myself. Um, um, I think uh, I'm. I'm actually not sure what I'm going to be doing when I go to a four-year college. Uh, I I plan on going to Queens College. Uh, I got accepted. Yay! More <laughs> congratulations. Thank you. Um, but I think that's why I wanted to continue with Nina. Um, with this media production lab to kind of gain more experience to see if I would like to be in the film and television field. So that's why I chose to. Um, and you're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, no, sorry. Um, well, no, what has been a good experience. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, just know, there's a lot more, um, there's a lot more work than being on set, right? So th there's a lot of pre-production, there's a lot of post-production. You can, you know, there's accounting, law, Law, like there's all different types of ways that you could be in the in and around the field if you're not up for standing for 14 hours a day. <laughs> I thought, Teresa was like, I didn't realize you had to stay so long on set. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I next thing for me probably is just like doing more programs like this and learning more. Very cool. Me? Yeah. Okay. What are you on? Uh, are you working on a script? Well, actually, I, I filmed like a short film with my friend, my best friend, and a whole lot of them, like, like over spring break, and that was a long time ago, but 
but I, I haven't edited it yet because, you know, because I'm just so studious. But, you are, though. yeah, I have a year of high school left, so I just would like to, like, continue, like, gaining skills and, like, all, like, like, all different aspects of film to see, like, what I want to do with my future. So, yeah, maybe I'd, I'd like to continue, like, my work in the US, too. So, yeah. if you ever need me, you know. Only one call away. I would love that. That would be fabulous. Yeah, if you if you want to keep doing stuff with us, we, you know, Kelly was an intern six years ago, <laughs> and then I haven't let her go yet. So, like, you know, if, if she's available, she comes, and if she's not, she says that she's not. You know, so that's always good. We're, we're down for that. But yeah, we, we're definitely going to continue to do labs like this, and um, we uh, we now have a Kaufman member on our board, so. He's very interested in kind of bringing him in more and doing more stuff. I kind of want to do something called studio stories, like where we interview like the, uh, like get stories about kind of films that shot here and like, you know, because they all have so many stories, all of the crew and the executives here. So um, I think it would be cool to kind of just bring our cameras in and start talking to them. Um, and that's a way to get in the field. Making a after the illumination thing, everybody was like, I want an internship. And I'm like, they, they don't do that, but I will figure out a way <laughs> to yeah. get you in the door somehow. So we'll, we'll keep working on it, keep in touch. And thank you so much for like sticking around. It was a lot of work. It was like three months of meetings and Zooms and in-person shoots and, and trainings. But I appreciate you all sticking around and doing Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Yeah, I mean, this is what why I do this, right? Like, I know as a kid, you know, I grew up in the neighborhood. I visited, but, you know, I went, I went to the museum when it opened, but, like, I didn't know how to get into the industry. And you need it. You need connections and or experience. But how do you get that if you have neither? <laughs> it's just a, it's a constant, like, it's, a, it's gatekeeping. So, like, how do we get past that gate? So I just try to pull you through that gate with me, if you will. <laughs> yeah, scale it, climb it, jump it, whatever we have to do, I will get you there. So please keep in touch. And thank you. Any any last any last words? Um, first place, I want to say, Emily, like you shocked me, and I was so pleasantly surprised. Like Emily was just like jumping on every massive thing in the illumination program like there were these these like c stands that were like bigger than like my house and she was just like and then i, I turn around and she's up on it and, like, and i'm like wait wait what what are you doing and it's like you saw like the guy was like yeah just turn it she just jumped on that thing you were like the first one up there it was i, I your, yeah. your bravery is, is pretty cool and i would do it again <laughs> yeah, she's like, I'm made for this. I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, I'm like, don't die. Please don't die. <laughs> yeah, I would jump on uh, these. <laughs> I would jump on these big uh, rigs. Light rigs again, um, but even more higher. Um, any less? Uh, it's a really good experience. Um, probably like. Now that I have this information in my head of how like the movies are made, every time I go see a movie, I will just like it ruins I, it. I it just, totally ruins you. I yeah, hundred yeah. percent. What I saw like Guardians of the Galaxy, like and I just know, like it's not. Yeah, you, you're all, you're always trying to dissect, and now especially with virtual, you know, backdrops, I'm always trying to figure out like is that a virtual backdrop? Is that green screen? Is that real? Like even with Last of Us. When they have that scene with the giraffes, I was like, are, those are the best like virtual giraffes ever. Then I found out they're actual giraffes. <laughs> I was like, oh, they're real. Okay, good. But like, I'm always assuming it's it's done through graphics, right? Yeah. But it's a good experience to have, just to know, even like in your everyday life, just to uh, like dissect, well, not like dissect things, but like dissect. Uh, the movie industry because they all made out like it's hard and they always show you like all the hard stuff yeah and it's hard to get into and even with show business on like Broadway and stuff but like if you really break it down it's not that hard I 100% agree and I think the, the the veneer of making it so hard is to keep people out right because 
you know, it's like people are, they, they, they've been passing those jobs down through generations. <laughs> they don't want people coming in and competing with their kids, right? You just got to, like, keep going and get in there. Um, I think this program inspires me a lot so people, um, if you're around, join the program, first of all. Um, second of all, like, it just made me feel, like, very inspired, so, so, yeah, like, as someone with a disability, with physical disability, I feel like there's a lot of things in the world that can, like, kind of, like, make you feel intimidated, and, like, sometimes those cameras and those big stands are making me feel intimidated, but, like, I went and tried it anyway, and you kind of get over that initial fear. And you go out and you do it, so don't be scared, don't feel any type of fear. Just go out and try it at least once and see if you like it or not. Hundred, yeah, I think that was, you know, try something, and if you don't like, at least that's a huge experience. That's knowing you, what you don't like to do mm -hmm. really helps you figure out what you're right. going to do. At least get out of your comfort zone first. Yeah. Then, yeah. So. <coughs> no dying. <laughs> well, I agree with Gabby. I mean, you have to get out of the comfort zone, experience things, you know, uh, to you know, uh, get out there <laughs> and do things. Um, yeah. But don't be afraid to fail. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, if it goes wrong, just jump to the next thing, and then don't put that on your resume and never mention it again. Like, right. it's, it's okay, right. right? Just keep going. Just keep. Don't let something stop you. Just keep going. Mm -hmm. There's always the next thing. There's mm -hmm. always the next. Thing. And that, um, I, I, um, I, I, I really think you know, like what she does with people with disabilities. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Well, I myself am disabled, uh, chronically ill, and not neurodivergent, and. I really didn't talk about it because I was just like, well, that's just me and that's who I am and I have to deal, right? Like, yeah. I have to deal with being ill and being in pain, like, all the time. <laughs> and uh, and actually, I, I was part of a, a program similar to this that Netflix run, ran in the fall through Respectability, which is a disability and media uh, pro program. And so it really helped me um, learned that I needed to advocate for myself more, that I was disabled, like I wasn't even like realizing that part of it yet. And um, so then I just, it kind of like, I always wanted to help kids who didn't have representation, but I kind of brought in the disability more <coughs> once I realized my own disability more. And it was funny because I started the program, I applied thinking, yeah, I guess I could apply for this. I have, I have diagnoses, right, I could apply for this. And, uh, and when I was in, and I, you know, I thought to myself, oh, I, I'm such a fraud, like, I'm not disabled enough to be here. And I literally, not that you're competing, but, like, I was one of the more disabled people in the group. And I was like, wait, what? Like, it's, it shocked me. It truly shocked me. So, you know, it's, it, yeah. So, yes. But thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, just, like, thinking back off of what Emily and, um, and Gabby and Teresa were saying. Um, this program really um, just helped me learn a lot about me and like what I wanted to do in the film industry and um, what I'm good at and my strengths and weaknesses especially. Um, we do a lot of editing so but, like what I can do, um, like social media stuff and like um, design work. So yeah. Well these guys did a lot of the editing. I will say I gave you guys a lot of the editing because you have the, the editing chops if you will. Yeah. No. You, you got stuck at the end of the Certified. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you're certified in Premiere. So that's, uh, I was like, here, edit this, edit that, edit this. Can you edit this? Can you edit that? Can you edit this? Can you edit that? <laughs> you might. Yeah, it's your turn. Well, what was the question? I thought you <laughs> did. Any last thoughts? This is like free speech. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm very grateful to be here with everyone today. And, like, the last couple of months, like, so sometimes, uh, I don't know, I like, it also helped me balance, like, like, on, like, we have a meeting every Monday and Friday, so now I know that I can't be, like, doing something else, so, because, you know, of course, I still had school, so, you know. So Although I often fell asleep. Yeah. <laughs> like, once I completely slept through the meeting and everybody was texting me, like, where are you, where are you? But, uh, and I was like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so so it happens to, to those of us in charge, too. They <laughs> so don't. So I'm yeah. still just trying to develop a sense of professionalism. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs>
it's all you guys are wonderful and um, you know I just hope you I think learning about yourself and keep in mind that it might change right you might want to do something now and in five years you, you might be in a red position to do something new and you can do that right it, it's okay you can do that you, even if it's within the industry or if it's a different industry you know, just do what you want life is short the world is crazy <laughs> Try to be happy.